our RV. The dental welding shop. Sleepy head fell asleep. I guess he didn't get enough sleep last night. We left our RV there and we came to uh, Sher e Punjab, homestyle cuisine of India. And we had some lunch. And now we're just sitting waiting for the welding to get done. And I'm making hats. This is a nice hat. I started a new pattern. So I'm trying to make a variety of different hats. Here I am with a flashlight because the power on our site is not working. We have a very dim light here. We're using flashlights. We noticed uh, about two hours ago that it was out. We tried to get somebody here. When we first got here, um, the site power was out on our site, so we plugged into the next one and we told them, and they said that was fine, and it was working fine, and then today we left to go get our frame welded, and and uh, when we came back, then there was the power surge thing looked weird, and we tried plugging into all different places, and I don't know, but we don't really have power. I don't know if this is our battery power or what that we're using. And we talked to them, and they couldn't move us tonight, so we're stuck here in the dark. Basically what happened was this switch here, the bedroom was down. It had turned itself off for some reason. And I had noticed that when I was checking things out to see why we didn't have any power in here in the RV. But when I went to try to put it back up, it would stay down for some reason. So I didn't want to mess around with it. But one of the uh, Voyager maintenance people came to look at it and I showed it to him and basically what he did was and what he showed me was that when this goes down what you have to do is you, you hold it down you put it up and then you hold it down for a few seconds and then it'll automatically go up it'll turn itself up it'll automatically turn itself on again so it was as basic as that and once we did that we had power in here again we are going to get our hitch fixed it's crooked and we got the parts. The parts are coming in. They should come in today. The hitch is crooked there. You can see all these cactuses over here. And this looks to me like, I think it's a dead cactus. It looks like one of those, kind of. Kind of neat to see it without its skin on it, I guess you'd say. Yeah, it looks like it's one of those. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, it feels like wood. Hmm. You probably see a lot of these when we're gone, huh? truck it got the hitch fixed Rick from Chola Metal Craft Incorporated and his uh, helper Bo fixed our hitch so if you're ever in Tucson Arizona and you need some metal work done on your RV go ahead and give them a call he's honest and he's very efficient Tucson, Arizona. We've been here for over a week, eight days, and this is a young, I believe a young saguaro, if I'm saying it right, saguaro cactus. They're only native to certain parts of Arizona in the south, 
southern part of Arizona and part, a little bit of the top of Mexico. And they were actually protected at one time. They may still be protected. I think they're really cool. And we're headed to uh, Salome, I think it's called. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.